Hey, so I'm home, and obviously, you've seen the other video, I had the gauze in my mouth, so they did, they took all 15 teeth that they were going to take, and honestly, I didn't bleed very much, I thought I was going to bleed, well, actually, I mean, I bled a lot to start with, you see, my house is falling apart, that's why I don't do videos in any other part of my house, but hey, I don't even care about it right now, I'm going to fix it eventually. Um, I'll go in my, my favorite spot. So, my kitchen, my dirty kitchen. Um, so, anyway, they gave me the gas to start with. And, you know, they checked my blood pressure and you know, everything like that. And you know that little thing they put on your finger to check your blood oxygen level or whatever they couldn't put it on my fingers because of my nails they're too long and it was it had like little like um i don't know things it had like little things on the side so it couldn't I, they couldn't put it on the sideways like the hospital does whenever i go to the hospital so they put it on my toe i was like okay yeah whatever and so, the first thing they did was they put a whole bunch of shit on me. I don't know. Had, um, on the video, you can see that when I uploaded earlier, you can see that I had, like, something taped to my throat right here. I don't know what that was for. I'm gonna have to ask them about that whenever I go back. Um, but they put that on my neck, and they had me all hooked up to the blood pressure cuff and stuff like that. Took my temperature and, you know. And my blood pressure was actually pretty good. Uh, I think it was like 123 over 82 or something, something, something like that. You know, something low like that. And never really got higher than 130 over 80 something. But, uh, so they did that. And then whenever they had me hooked up to all that, they put like this tube right here that just like they taped it to the side of my face and it like stuck right here. And it didn't go in my nose. It just sat at the side of my nose. Well, and it sat underneath the gas thing. And they said it was a CO2 monitor or something like that. So, they had that. And then they they were trying to find a place to put the IV. Because they did the intravenous uh, sedation that I asked for. So, they had to go right there. I don't know if you can see the blue spot and the little red spot. That's where they had to go. And believe it or not, I mean, it's, it looks bruised. It looks bruised. But I was, like, touching it and everything. You, I can't. It don't feel like there anything happened there at all. Whoever did that was good at what they were doing. I'll tell you that for sure. And I was watching. I was, like, pop one eye open. I was looking. <laughs> so I had to lift my head up a little bit. But I didn't want to move that mask. Or anything too much. So I'm just like trying to do this number you know. And then the dentist come in. And he said how are we doing? I just popped an eye open on this side. And looked at him. I'm like good. Let's get going. Let's get her done. Let's get her did. He's like she's ready. I said yes. I've been ready for since like second 20 years ago. Um, So they got started. And I was pretty much done for throughout the procedure and you know I remember bits and pieces um I know I closed my eyes and I was breathing that gas and I was letting myself calm and I was letting you know kind of I said uh you may have to give me a few minutes after you give me the IV sedation for it to really take effect because a lot of times I have you know it takes it a little bit longer than it should and, uh, I said, if you come in and talk to me and I don't answer you, I said, then we can get started. <laughs> so, he's like, okay. So, he come back in, apparently, and asked, and, uh, they said I raised one hand. And, you know, shot a sum, saying, let's go. And so, he started, you know, giving me the shots. I felt one. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. You know. And then, they started doing the... The, the back, uh, they started from this side, went around, and then they did the bottom. 
and he had to go back up and do some stuff up here um, before he was done. So he gave me another shot. And I felt that too. And so I kept, they said I kept raising my hand up. And I have that bad habit. So like if I'm in a situation where I'm like trying to calm myself down or where I'm trying to, you know, I guess deviate my attention to something else or whatever, I'll I just go like this. And they kept grabbing my hand and pulling my hand down because they thought I was going to try to be, you know, going up here. But I wasn't. Um, it I, it didn't hurt when they gave me the injections. Uh, and that's the main thing that I was worried about. Nothing else. I had no issue, no worry, no nothing about nothing else. It was just those shots to get started, get the numbing started. That's the one thing I have a problem with. Needles, I'll, I have no problem with needles, obviously. I have enough piercings. And I have enough tattoos. So, you know, needles I have no problem with. You know, I watched her do that. You know, like I said, I watched anytime they draw blood or anytime they, you know, get an IV started on me for whatever reason. You know, I have no problem with that. I had to give myself um, blood center injections in my stomach when I had my wreck about 10 years ago. Because I had a beginnings of a blood clot in my leg. So, um, while I was in the wheelchair. So, for like almost a year I had to give myself blood thinner shots so needles I have no problem with shots injections anything like that no problem with that whatsoever but as everybody knows your mouth is a more sensitive area especially in this area and so I was good you know come out uh come out of the sedation they um, started taking the mask off me and everything. And I just opened my eyes. I'm like, already? We're done? And he's like, yep. You know, I just kind of looked at him. He's like, yep, we're done. You know, so I already had gauze shoved in my face and everything else. And um, I didn't want to move my mouth too much because I wanted to keep that gauze that they put in there because it was comfortable the way they put it in there. And I wanted to try to keep that as long as possible. And that same gauze is what was in the video. Um, I think I think it was like after the video, like probably about 20, 30 minutes after the video really, that I um, I was getting really thirsty. My throat was so dry. I had not had nothing to drink all day. And you seen he stopped at McDonald's and got him something to eat. And um, I had asked him to get me a water. And he's like, try to use the straw. And I'm like, I'm not supposed to use the straw. He said, I know, but, you know, because he couldn't help me at that moment because he was driving. And so I was like trying to show him that the straw wasn't going in my mouth either. That's why I was trying to show him the straw. I even tried to show, you know, me taking a drink just to try to get it past the gauze under the bottom where I still have my teeth. That wasn't going to work. And then... The, his tr his car is a standard and it's a piece of junk. I don't know if you could tell that. It don't even have the stuff that goes over the top of the ceiling. What is it called? The uh, ceiling liner thing. They don't have that. Don't have no carpet in the floor or nothing either. It's all metal. And um, I hate that car. I drove that car for a while. I hate that car. Um, I just don't like it because it's small. Other than that, you know, the car's fine. Um, I don't like little cars. I have my truck. I love my truck. Um, I just don't like feeling like I'm scrubbing my butt on the ground every time I try to go over like a, um, uh, one of those speed bumps or go through a pothole or something. I don't want to feel like I'm messing my car up. That's why I won't drive those. But anyways, um, I didn't know if I would even be able to talk. Or anything. My my jaw hurts right now. Because I've been talking to my aunt on the phone. Like I always do every single day. So it's getting a little tired. Um, I was taking pictures. Making funny faces and stuff. But no after I got home. As soon as I got home. Which my, they told me. Um, when I was leaving. That I could you know start. As soon as I got home. Swishing salt water around in my mouth as soon as I felt comfortable taking the gauze out for a minute or two. So as soon as I got home, 
because we rode around. I rode around with him until, what was it, like almost 2 o'clock doing what he needed to do. Went and seen a friend of mine that she knew I was getting it done. And, you know, she came out and gave me a couple hugs and stuff. And, and then um, he brought me home after we stopped somewhere else to, because we were making deliveries. And so um, we stopped and made the delivery to her and she came out and seen me. And we stopped somewhere else to a restaurant that we have um, a friend that owns it. So uh, we deliver produce, fruits, and vegetables and stuff to them. And so that's what we were doing. And after he took him to the restaurant, I stayed in the car because I wasn't getting out. You know, I'm not going to be walking back and forth for no reason whatsoever, you know. I ain't doing nothing. Uh, so... Noises outside. Anyways, um, I had the gauze in my mouth till I got home. You know, I, you seen, I had my notepad that I took with me and I was writing down what I wanted to say to him. And, uh, since I can, uh, read, read, write, and speak Spanish fluently, you know, just the way, same way they do. <clears throat> so he can read my messages or whatever I write down. And, um, so, and I did that at the dentist's office, too, after they pulled my teeth when she asked, was asking me a question or something. Uh, oh, about medications. Um, because I can't take ibuprofen because I, there's something in it that has to do, it, it's an aller, allergic reaction that I have. I'm allergic to aspirin. So, any kind of medications like that that have a similar, any of the ingredients similar to what aspirin has in it, I cannot take it. So, I, you know, they gave me ibuprofen 800s or whatever it was the last time, and I went to go to get, get it filled, and I didn't know this, you know. My pharmacist told me, he says, you can't take this. I looked at him, I said, why? And he said, because you're allergic to aspirin, and ibuprofen 800 has a similar ingredient. <clears throat> in it the aspirin does it will cause you an allergic reaction i was like oh i didn't know that well, i've never taken it before so you know i didn't know that so i couldn't get that filled and i cannot take tylenol um so they couldn't give me no tylenol three or anything or whatever it is the tylenol codeine they can't give me that because of um a problem that i had uh it's like 2007 2008, 2008, um, I blacked out after I got mad at my ex-husband, and, um, I had just had a hysterectomy, so I was taking all kinds of medications and stuff, and they told me to get some Tylenol PM to help me try to sleep at night, and I got one of them bottles that are, like, this big and, like, this big around, and I had all of my prescriptions set on the table in front of me, you know, after my kids went to bed and stuff, um, I got some them put in bed, and I I had to wear a catheter for like two months, so I had um a medication I took for bladder spasms, you know, so on and so forth, infection and all that, and so they gave me they told me to get the Tylenol PM to help with a little bit of the pain for the um catheter, so and to help me sleep at night, and because he made me mad and we got into a fight, he was drunk. It was abusive. And um, I just finally got fed up with it. it. I'd been dealing with it for 10, you know, 10 plus years. 10, like, almost 10 years. I think it was like 8, 9 years. And um, I got sick of it. And he made me mad to the point where he walked off in the bathroom. And I stood outside the bathroom door waiting for him to come out. And there's like this little bitty hallway, you know. And uh, it's like a little pocket basically. Blech. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So he come out and he was still running his mouth at me and apparently I grabbed him by the back of my head and slammed his face into a wall. And my alarm went off for me to go take my pills. And because I blacked out because I got mad at him and did that to him, I went down, sat, went and sat down and started taking my pills and apparently I was, he thought I was trying to overdose on uh, Tylenol PMs and antibiotics. And, uh, I wasn't trying to, it wasn't intentional. 
it just being blacked out i just kind of started dumping shit in my hand and, and you know taking it and so he called an ambulance three hours later but he called an ambulance and they come got me they took me to the emergency room they made me drink that cart charcoal stuff to pump your stomach you know and took me to the icu and then i wound up on the psych ward for two weeks because I threatened to kill him if I went home. But anyways. So I can't take Tylenol because of that. And. Um, <clears throat> so they're like. Well can't. What have you taken. You know this or this or this. And I was trying to write it out. And she said. Well, well tramadol work. I said yeah tramadol sign. I've taken tramadol. And uh, it, it seems to work okay. I guess. I said it's not the best thing for pain. Which. Nothing that I have ever been given for pain has ever worked for me. Not even morphine. So, you know, when I broke my feet, they were pumping me full of lor uh, liquid Lortab, liquid Percocet, whatever, morphine. And there was like five painkillers that they were injecting into my IV when I broke my broke my feet and um, I hurt my back. And I also hit my head three times. So, you know, my body is pretty much immune to most of the painkillers now the tramadol <clears throat> it helps like um more than some of the other ones to dull it down you know i mean i'll tell you what i'm not numb no more nothing i was numb from my from right here literally i was like touching my face and i said that in the video and he was he uh or i was say trying to say that in the video but, and I brought it down to him, and he said it, you know, he read it out loud. And then I looked at him, I said, yeah, up to here. And he says, up to your eyes. And I said, yeah, for all of this, everything over here down was completely fucking numb to here. And I'm like, wow. Even my sinuses were numb. So, it's like, my nose is stopped up on the side. Yeah, it was just slightly running a little bit, but, you know. Um, and it got on my nerves, like, really, really bad. I hate being numb. I hate it. And, I mean, I still got a little bit of numbness right here, but it's not, not bad at all. Um, I've only taken one of the tramadol when I first got home. Um, and I took, um, some anti-inflammatories. Uh. That I had from before. When my teeth were hurting and it started to swell. So. Um, it is starting to swell. Right here. On the outside of that very back tooth. But nothing else right now. Has swollen up at all. I have no pain. At all. At all. Now like. Don't get me wrong. You know this one's starting to hurt just a little bit. It's not really a, a pain. It doesn't hurt hurt. It um. It just feels kind of like a toothache. You know, a small toothache. Not even a bad toothache. Just a small toothache. And if I go to rub my nose or something and I push a little too hard right here, it does hurt. But I have to push on it to get it to hurt. But they did um, the extractions and then they um, did stitches. So I have to go back next week and get the stitches taken out. And I was hoping they would do that. Because my my gums heal a lot better and a lot quicker if they're stitched up. They just leave them open. They don't. It takes them months upon months upon months to heal. The last ones they they took out, which was one right back here in the back, and the wisdom tooth, you know, at the very back on top over here. They didn't stitch those up, so I still have a, an indent from that. They never fully healed. And it's been a year. Since I did that. And so. I'm glad they stitched these up. So I'm going to show you. Like I said. You know I have the six. Here. That I was keeping. And uh, so. We got that. Alright. That's where. The bottom two on that side. And the bottom two right there. And then, let's see. 
I'm trying to do it. It's I don't want to, you know, get my nail up in any of the sights. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be careful. And I don't know what that stuff is on my tongue. Because I didn't eat anything blue. Or anything for my tongue to look at. I don't know if it's something they put in my mouth whenever they were doing that. But there's no swelling. Okay. I can do all this. You know? The only thing that I'm worried about is these teeth. Cutting, cutting into the stitches. And, yeah, you know, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to talk for the rest of the day. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow and see if my swelling or whatever. Nope. As soon as I was able to take the gauze out of my mouth and not be bleeding. Um, you know, my, my, the only thing that was still numb was my whole top lip I mean everything was all completely numb and it's just now starting to get unnumb you know it's still a little teeny weeny you know teeny weeny bit numb and it's been almost 12 hours so they, they got me in there immediately at 7 o'clock and got everything started so I think it was 7.45 after they got all everything set up on me and everything, whenever they started giving me the gas and and the the sedation and the IV, but we were out of there by I think it was nine nine almost ten o'clock. So from almost eight o'clock to ten o'clock, so like two hours, and so. I don't want to say, as long as we get there early, and we're there, and we get this done, then we won't be sitting there very long, because we're the first ones there. You know, they called me yesterday, because my appointment wasn't supposed to be till 9. And they called me last night, and told me they had a cancellation for 7 o'clock in the morning if I wanted to come in then. I was like, yeah, of course I do. So, I'll tell you, no pain right now. You know, just a little bit of irritation here. And I can feel it starting to swell on the outside. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go in the bathroom and see if I can see in the mirror. Because I can't see like this. Let's see here. It's like right here. And uh, I can't. Right there. Or my finger that. I don't know. But it's like right there where that last tooth was. So if you go back and look at my other videos, you see that last tooth. And that's where the swelling is right now. Uh, but this is that's swelling. Huh? Huh? So. Nothing swollen there. No swelling. But, I tried to put my denture in. It's not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to use it until um, they take the stitches out. Because, I put it in with the, um, and see, I only used two gauze things, two or three gauze things out of here. But, hey, I got them just in case anything else. Um, There's still probably going to be some oozing. Or whatever, still. But, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to burp. Um, I'm not trying to be rude. But I took one of those C-Bond strips and put it in there. You know, did, did by the, followed the instructions of how to put it in there. And I set it in there and um, I put that up. And it's gonna, it's too loose. So, and I ain't like this and I don't know let me see if I can get it in my mouth and I'll show you what I'm talking about so let's see where I can get this thing set because I'm on my phone again but
on my hand so I can touch my phone. Let's see. And I didn't like the way it felt earlier either, so I probably ain't gonna like it now. I don't know. Let's see. So, oh, you can tell it fits. What's this? Do you just... Without adhesive or anything, it's not going to stay. Because of the way it is. The U-shape. Um, I'll probably get me a different one later. That's a full palette and just do it myself to where I want it and have a smaller size because this is a medium and it fits my mouth so you know as far as that goes but um oops I don't go that way dude don't go that way sorry I have a habit of talking to inanimate inanimate objects so there's that. Anyways, but so I'll probably get a small next time. And that one on my phone. And then um, you know, cut the pallet back and make my own horseshoe. So yeah. So you can see how easy I'm talking. It's it's not hard to talk, really. Um I had absolutely no problem except for that my first uh two minutes talking was hard because of my lip because my lip was numb so I said no I couldn't move my lip at all so I'm like a bit and talking to the rabbits you know I'm like okay we gotta do this because when I tried to put the denture in like I said earlier it wasn't gonna fit so I know it's not gonna fit um until after um they take my stitches out and everything and I can do the reline when I do the reline, I'm almost positive that won't have no problem. Um, and I'll probably wind up using both of the things that come in the kit to do the trough part. And then the other one, make it, you know, I'm going to try to do it liquidy in the trough. And then I'm going to stick it in there. And um, so let it, and let it set. And then I will... Um, Use the second one. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it. Um, to get it back where I want it. And um, not worry about it flopping down or whatever. Or trying to hold it up with my tongue for six minutes. Because that's going to get tiring. Um, so I'm going to try to figure it where I can put something in there. And put my fingers up to hold it up. But I'm going to try to get it, you know. Uh, even if I have to go buy another one. No problem. I'll do what I got to do to get it to fit to start with until I can order another one. But, yeah. So, not having no troubles talking, really. Uh, I obviously do sound different because I have no teeth. But I think it was easier for me being that I had that big gap there already. So, I already had that problem. And I, the way I speak, anyways, because of the way that... My tongue and my teeth differed was uh, another difficulty I had growing up. So, you know, I, I'm still holding my tongue the same way, even though I have no teeth on the sides. I'm still putting my tongue between my gums to be able to speak properly. Because I've always done that, and I'm always going to do that, even with the dentures. So, yeah. So, E-Day was here. E-Day is gone. I'm happy. I do not regret it. Um, let's see how tomorrow goes. I'm going to heat me up some uh, bone broth that I bought yesterday. I bought me some chicken broth and some beef bone broth. Bone broth is supposed to be better for you than just the broth off the meat. So, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. And it tastes really good too. So... I'm going to go heat me some of that up and swig it down. 
and enjoy myself. And tomorrow, see what happens. See how much swells. See how much oozing there is or anything. But I will let y'all know. So, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll continue on with this experience together. And like I said, you know, if you're thinking about getting this done. Okay, and this is just for, like, the people who are not getting immediate dentures. Um, you're going to be like this. And that's okay, you know. Um, but people who are getting immediate dentures, like I said, you know, for me, because I did not get immediate dentures, I can't say what your experience is going to be like that. Um, I know... That probably if I'd have been able to get the immediate dentures directly from the dentist or have them do a reline for that one. Um, and been able to pay extra for that or something. Then that might be different. I may be wearing them right now. But unfortunately that's not the situation. So I have to go without using it. If I'd have gotten a different denture I could probably be wearing it right now. But also on top of that. <clears throat> I um, did not take it with me when I went to the dentist. So it stayed here at the house. And when I got home and I took, uh, I rinsed my mouth the first time with salt water. Um, I tried it then. And it's, it's not comfortable for me because of the type of denture it is. So... It's going to be, be a little bit more difficult for me to get it done. But, hey. I can stay in my house all the time if I want to. I'll go out like this. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow. So. You know. I, I ain't, I'm not caring. People so used to seeing me with damaged teeth. It's not going to hurt nobody to see me without teeth. But. Uh, rambling. So, anyway, like and subscribe, and I'll be on tomorrow, and I'll let you know what's going on, whether I have any swelling or not, um, and, uh, whether there's any pain tomorrow. Um, I am still going to sleep with a towel over my pillow, because I like my pillowcase and I don't want it stained, and I'm a mouth breather, so there's that. And every single time I've ever gone to the dentist, no matter what, it could be two days after the bleeding has completely stopped. And there's no more bleeding. And I'll go to bed that night and, and, and just open my mouth and be, you know, because that's how I sleep. I'm like, with my tongue hanging halfway out, you know. And I do that when I'm sitting, too, because uh, I can't breathe through my nose. But, um, and I'll always wake up with blood on my pillow the next day, no matter what. So, I'm a bleeder. But, yeah. So, there's that. And, uh, you know, I'll try to let y'all know what I'm doing in the morning. Um, you know, try to do a couple videos and because I still haven't figured out how to do use the use an editing app or, or editing whatever on my computer because um my computer doesn't have one built into it apparently and it's weird because it's an office computer um but uh, I will download one onto it soon that way I can try to edit some videos and that way I can do random you know clips and or whatever and just you know cut out all the crap that I go on about that don't make no no never mind to nobody else you know but I'll try to do that and that way the, the videos will be better and I can show different times of the day that I can't do now you know, because uh, it won't allow me to. <clears throat> but anyways, 
I will let you go. Like and subscribe if you would please. Very much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.